Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm Gigi and I'm here with another episode of how to use Dynamo in Alias. So in my last Dynamo video I've showed you how to apply a pattern across multiple surfaces, but in this video I want to explain you how to get to such a pattern in the first place. And for that I've worked a little bit more on a script which creates points on curves. So one yeah, version we've released with Alias 2022, but yeah, I continue to work on that one to make it a little bit more usable and easier to understand. So the script takes curves as input. They all, those could be surface edges, curves on surfaces, or regular curves, doesn't really matter. So let's pick those two surface edges here and hit accept. And then there are, let's switch on auto updates, so directly see what's happening. And the script has two modes. One is called mode distribute and one is called mode fixed distance. So let's first look at the mode distribute. What it does is it takes your desired amount of points and then distributes them in an equal fashion along the curves you've selected, right? So if I choose a different amount, yep, it creates the desired amount. You have the option to create a point at the start or not, or create a point at the end or not. As you can see here, for example, no start or end point created. If I just create a point at the start, you can see that, okay, this edge obviously starts over here, while this edge here starts over there. And yeah, you can use these options to avoid like double point creations in such corner cases as this one here. Um, I've also implemented a simple version of an attractor point where if I give it some weight, you can see that the points are moving towards this attractor point, and if you move the attractor point around, the points will follow. Yeah, it's just to show that this is also possible in general. And then let's have a look at the, the other mode, which is called mode fixed distance. As you can see here, instead of distributing all the points along the curve, instead it starts at the start of the curve and then a given amount or given distance, it creates one point like here every 100 millimeters. And if I change that one, for example, to 50, yeah, you see distance shortens. Also here, an option to not create the first point and instead, you know, create one further down the curve. Um, if you want to get them up to the end, you can either use the slider or in case the slider is not sufficient, you can also simply choose the option to create the maximum amount of points which do fit onto the curve with a given distance. Okay, so uh, how do I use these points? And just want to give you one simple example of that. And for that one, I will create curve offset of this trim edge, move it more in, yeah, for example, like that. And then I will use that curve here to create some points on there. Auto update is on. Why didn't it fix the curve? Okay, here we go. Uh, let's choose. Oh, doesn't look too bad. Let's, yeah, 27 looks about right. Um, Yep, and now I want to use these points here to use another script which we've released with alias2022. Therefore, I go to the What's New shelf, and here we got a script which allows you to create a number of holes and also place an object um, depending on points positions like we've created them here. So let's bring this script up. It first asks you to create uh, to pick a base surface. I'll choose this one here. Then it asks you for an object to place, and for that I want to place this little screw here. That was odd. Okay, so that uh, looks like the base surface except didn't work. Well, let's do this again. Okay, uh, now I'm asked to create or select the positions, where I want to place the screw, where I want to create all the fillets. And then I hit build. And then this screw is placed on all the different points here aligned to the normal of the surface. 
and then let's make this one here invisible for a second so we can see better and then as you can see it has taken the screw place it here did a fillet and also aligned the screw normal to the surface so yep this is how you create some points and use them at the downwards to define a pattern yep thanks for watching the video and hope to see you on the next one